going on guys? It's Brian over at Marty's Buick GMC. And right here we have the 2013 Buick LaCrosse. And uh, today I think I'm going to give you guys a quick tour and uh, show you what's really going on behind the scenes of this thing. Let's take a look. Alright guys, so uh, I'm going to give you a quick walk around, let you see the outside of the vehicle. And uh, as always, show you how clean and perfect it is. Um, this is a chocolate brown color. I don't know if you guys can tell, uh, sometimes it does look black. And if you could see it up close in the sunlight, I'll see if we can uh, get a close shot so you can see the metallic flake in the paint. It looks really, really good. Uh, the brown color at first I wasn't such a big fan of, but now seeing it out in the sun, it looks really good. It's, it's really kind of a classy look. Um, let's see. Let's, let's take you up right close to the bumper and uh, see if uh, you guys can see. Hopefully you can get an idea of what I'm talking about with the flake and the paint. It's just a really nice, nice shine to it. Um, and now I will give you guys a peek at what's going on on the inside of this thing. Let's take a look. All right, guys. So now we're uh, we're up in the driver's seat here in the lacrosse. And uh, first thing everybody notices, obviously, is the giant Intellink display screen that you have up front, uh, the the wood grain trim, and all these buttons that nobody knows what they do yet. Uh, so I'm going to help you guys out a little bit with that. Show you a few of the buttons. Uh, show you really what goes on with the Intellink, how easy the system is to use. It's nothing you have to be afraid of. If you can operate a calculator, you can operate this, and no, I'm not just saying that. Uh, so with that said, let's take a closer look at the Intellink system and uh, see what's really going on behind the scenes. All right, so when you initially get into the lacrosse, you're going to have that blank screen. We're going to start this thing up. And there's our Intellink screen. Now, when you're on the main screen, this power button right here, will uh, flip your radio on. Everything's touch as well as you can operate most controls from down here. Uh, this little spinning dial will adjust your radio, change your tune, you can see the station change in there. Uh, this little house button, uh, if you use an Android phone that little house button will be pretty easy to remember. If you don't, either way, it's not something that's that's too difficult. Uh, just tap that home button there and that brings you to your, your home screen. Uh, it shows you everything that you can do here. Uh, you can see if I hit next, there's a variety of different things that we can check out and operate. Uh, you have picture viewer. You can actually plug in a USB drive and view photos on here if you'd like. Uh, it's kind of cool if you're on vacation. You just can't wait to check them out. You can pop them in there. Um, an information tab. What that does is it gives you different audio information, a five-day weather forecast, uh, nearby fuel stations, which is kind of cool. You know, if you're lost, don't really know where you're going, and it gives you the cost uh, as well. So that's kind of a neat thing. Not a lot of people know that this has the capability of doing things like that. Uh, we're going to hit the home button and jump back. And we're going to go back to the previous screen. This gives you your configuration settings. Uh, you can change your audio settings a little bit and move those around differently if you like. Hit our weather and see what's going on outside. There we go. It gets sunny and 74 degrees currently. You can enter in different, uh, if you hit the menu, uh, you can go and you can add different places. So if you go back and forth and travel between a few different locations, you can have those all stored in here. Go back to home. We can do movies. Uh, what it'll do is you can pick any movie theater. Let's see if it'll do it. We can. It actually goes by location, so it's searching right now. Uh, Regal Cinemas, which is right behind the dealership. Uh, we can just give that a touch. And uh, what kind of movies do we got? You know what, we'll do Jurassic Park in 3D. And we'll do a search. And uh, there's our show times. So right there in our navigation. It's a pretty cool feature. Something not a lot of people know about. You can actually view the cast, uh, theater info, all kinds of things right from uh, your in-dash. So these are all things that Intellink does that not a lot of people know about. They think, oh, it's just a navigation system and a radio. Well, Buick's gone above and beyond and surpassed the just a radio and just the navigation. Uh, so we're going to hit our home button here again. And we're going to jump over to, you know what, we'll just go right into configure. That's the button everybody hates to touch. Uh, they get a little scared, think they're going to mess something up. You don't have to be scared at all. Jump into something. Everything's real easy to use. Um, and same thing, you know, if you use this dial, you can scroll through the settings too if you don't want to use the touch. Um, but, you know, it's touch screen, so why not? So you can go into, like, vehicle settings. You can change uh, climate and air quality to change the fan speed, um, the sensor speed. Um, I mean, literally, you can do everything through this. Uh, lighting. 
Uh, you can change whether or not the exit lights turn on and off with the doors, uh, remote door locks, whether or not they lock on their own. And if you did change a bunch of stuff and you were like, crap, I wish it was the way it was, you can always just hit return to factory settings, hit yes, and right back it goes. Uh, so we're going to go back to the home and we're going to go to our previous menu. Uh, this is where you can see it actually has Pandora Internet Radio, uh, Stitcher Smart Radio, XM Satellite, FM, AM, uh, your phone, and the now playing button. Energy button, I actually am not sure what that does, so let's, uh, let's hit that and see what's going on. So right now it's showing us that we're at engine idle. So my guess is that this shows us uh, everything that the vehicle is doing. That's right, I have seen this once before. Uh, if you're driving, it'll actually tell you and give you an, a broad overview of everything the car is doing. Uh, how hard it's working, engine temperature, um, wheel speed, things of that nature. Um, most stuff that you're actually going to be able to see on your gauge cluster anyway, so you're not going to be too concerned with that. Uh, so we're going to go back home. That that energy one's actually a newer feature. Uh, so we can go right back into now playing and see what our radio stations are set on. Uh, you actually have, these are all your presets here. Um, you can hit audio info if you want. Uh, what it'll actually do if something was playing and I was on an actual radio station, it can give you the uh, names of what the band is and what the song is that's playing, which is kind of neat. Uh, other things that are on this dash, uh, you have your heated seats. Uh, it's three stage of power, so if you hit it once, you're on full, uh, and you tap it accordingly, and that'll drop all the way down to off. Uh, your climate controls are right here. This is your power on and off, and you can actually see the display pop up here. So. Uh, if you turn it off, it'll go away, but if you turn it on, it gives you your fan speeds. You can increase or decrease here, and you'll see it change accordingly. Uh, you can also do uh, which zones you want it in, uh, whether or not how you want the air entering the vehicle. Um, I usually leave my stuff on auto just to make life a little bit easier, uh, but some people want to change their stuff and, and do it a specific way. So that's a quick overview of the IntelliLink system and, and how everything works up here. Uh, if you guys have any questions, you know you can always drop a comment down below, or uh, give us a give us a call. We're always willing to answer questions. People always have questions about it, so uh, we're here to help. Uh, with that said, uh, let's bring you on over and show you the console and what's going on over here. All right, guys. So uh, we're here in the driver's seat now. As you can tell, you're pretty much right on my lap. So I'm gonna jump you over here. Uh, and give you a quick peek. So here's your steering wheel. Um, these are your steering wheel controls here. You have your Bluetooth menus. Uh, so you can actually make phone calls through the system here. Uh, audio volume and your source. You can change through AM, FM, or XM if you wanted to. And then your cruise controls right there on the other side. Uh, you get your set resume and uh, your cruise on and off. The really cool thing that I wanted to show you is up here on the dash. Right here. Um, See if we can get that in focus. All right, perfect. Uh, it's a really clean dash. It looks really good. I wish it was nighttime so you could get a, a view of the white ambient lighting. Uh, I'll shut the door to try and fix some of this glare. There we go. Um, if you look right here, there is a menu key on this on the shifter. Um, try and focus that in. If it doesn't focus, you know it's all right. I think you guys get an idea. It's where your uh, where your blinkers are. Um, what this does is the menu button will actually show you different options in your in your console so you can see that there so you just hit that menu button and then you twist the knob and it'll give you your tire pressure uh, it'll give you your battery voltage um, oil life remaining hit menu again it'll give us trip information uh, there's navigation average speed be Clearly we haven't gone too far, we're at 4.2 miles per hour is our average speed. Uh, the fuel economy, how much uh, your range is left, engine idle, odometer, I mean everything. Uh, so that's kind of a cool thing, you can just switch between, you can see how I'm, that's how I'm, I'm sliding through them there. So I thought that was kind of neat, it's a feature I really like, not a lot of vehicles have that. Um, and of course up top you have your OnStar equipped mirror in case of any emergencies, there's the SOS button as well. Uh, and I'm going to jump out of the vehicle now and give you guys a kind of a broad look at the inside. Um, I guess I could actually show you guys this real quick. There's your wood grain trim. This is actually an electronic parking brake. Most people use those parking brakes. you got to yank up and down. That's all you got to do. Parking brake on. Parking brake off. Um, obviously your lock. 
your shifter and you can do a triptronic which is shift it manually if you um, go over here then you could shift up and down uh, that's your traction control on and off and that would be your rear parking assist to turn on and off which I don't know why anyone would ever want to do it um, but it is there in case you ever wanted to um, another fan favorite before I jump out is the rear view camera you can see I'm I got the rear view camera on right now and uh, that will obviously go off when I throw it back in the park so let's jump out and take a peek alright guys so here you can get a better view of uh, how the interior looks I do still have the plastic on the seats uh, I didn't want to unwrap it yet um, but you can get an idea of the color of the interior and how everything looks in here I mean luxury is almost a uh, <laughs> it's almost an understatement with this thing and uh, we'll take a peek in the back and show you back here inside the passenger compartment and it's actually got plenty of leg room I can sit back there comfortably uh, without a problem so fitting a few adults back there you don't have anything to worry about and of course the uh, the middle folds down and gives you two cup holders uh, but that's that's pretty much it I mean that's the uh, that's the Buick LaCrosse in a nutshell of course there's a bunch of things I didn't even highlight um, I'll give you guys one quick walk around again. If you guys have any questions about the lacrosse, if you have any questions about Buick, GMC, or anything really in general automotive, uh, feel free to leave me a comment below or ask me any questions. Uh, you can contact us here, of course. Uh, you can also contact us on Facebook, which is facebook.com slash Marty's Buick GMC, or just visit us on the web, which is Marty's GMC.com. Our phone number website should pop up here for you in just a second. Uh, as always, I thank you guys for watching, and uh, if you enjoy these videos, please subscribe. I try and get as many up as I can, uh, but with the speed of these things coming in and out of the dealership, it does make it tough sometimes. Uh, thanks, guys. Hope to see you soon.